Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks so much for joining us on today's sports car video. One of my favorites, 911. Listen, I have to tell you, uh, 20 plus years ago when we started this whole thing, I didn't really understand 911s. I thought that they were like polished Volkswagen Beetles. And I know, I know, go ahead and say whatever you want because you're absolutely right. I was a Mo Ron, Mo Ron. And once you drive one of these things, you'll understand why people who buy one Drive, drive one, buy one, become a Porsche enthusiast forever. They are just a very, very different car. The only car I call uh, a daily driver exotic is this thing right here. You can go on a 1500 mile trip. It's got room for luggage in there. It's got room for kids in the back or another couple if you had to in a pinch. Um, it handles well. It's the best number one selling husband and wife car the, that we have because the wives can drive it. They don't feel like they're driving a bright red Ferrari and laying down inside of it while everybody's staring at them, right? They can enjoy this car with a friend or they can enjoy this car and drive it to work too. It is awesome, awesome, awesome. And in this one in particular, we are gonna look at this one because it has so many options and features on it. It was very expensive when it was new and it's amazing. It's driven a little over 3,500 miles a year now. It's gonna be a great car for you. All right, so right now, uh, this car is really original and authentic, meaning that it hasn't been molested and what have you. The calipers, the paint has faded a little bit of it. We repaint the calipers on almost all the cars that we do. I'm just thinking about going with red calipers with the white decal. If you see this video in time and we haven't done that yet, you can pick uh, yellow, black, silver, whatever you want. Uh, but we find that that really makes the, the car add a sportiness to it when the wheel is rotating and the caliper has a color to it. It looks really, really good. All right. Secondly, this is a 997. So you're getting the nice round headlight here, right? That's changed from the 996 that people didn't love. I think the 996 is great looking. So I think people are a little hard on it. But this is back to the original style of that. Lastly, we have extra cost paint. And the extra cost paint is nicely, nicely done. The fact that it uh, matches... Uh, like for instance, like these uh, center caps and this hood uh, emblem match each other, adds a nice little pop to it. But like for itself as quality paint, under these harsh lights, I like to be able to look at how clear you can see the light and the ceiling in the paint and look how clear that the letters are. You can see every one of them. And this is factory paint. This is not repainted and it's in really, really nice condition. All right, so I want us to take a second back here because there's a lot of stuff that goes on back here. Why? Well, first off, the engine's back here, and this is where all the turbulence happens in a car, right? These are high-speed cars, 160, depending on the engine of the car, 160 to 200 mile an hour cars. When you see racing, you see the cars twitching around, it's because of the air underneath. Well, what they've done here is they've added this, which will come up at over 70 miles an hour. So when you hit 70, this rises. I just raised it manually. You can do that with a button inside the car if you like driving around it. But I think about, like, they gave this a lot of thought. For instance, here's the third brake light. And when this comes up, it blocks the third brake light, so they put another one right in here, right? Nice touch. Here, here is where uh, you get to see how clean something is. Like somebody took and loved this car. This was somebody's third or fourth car. It was a vacation home car. All the decals are still in place. Uh, all of it is super clean in here. Even if we tried to detail it and it hadn't been detailed over years and taken care of, we could never have gotten it this clean. It's super, super nice, all right? And then you got the quad tips right there, polished. That's an extra option as well. Wrap around taillights. It's just a really great look from behind and a convertible makes it look even wider. All right, so let's take a peek in here for a second because again, we're talking about a high performance sports car that also has room to take stuff with, right? Soft bags fit in here, great. You can stack two or three of them in here. Battery's easy to get to, it's right here. It's got nice lighting. This happens to be super clean. And I just, I point out some of this stuff on here because when you buy a car like this, you're getting a car that says, uh, I've, I've been taken care of for a long time, right? The plastics aren't dried out. They aren't all scratched up from people throwing stuff in them. Like this is somebody's baby. And this is why some cars are worth more than others. And that's why I wanted to show you some of this little detail stuff. May not seem like a big deal to you, but that's why when I look at these cars all the time, I say, okay, this one's a little nicer than others. Ah, oh, last tip. 
is instead of slamming the hood because it's uh, lightweight aluminum, we always just put our hand right here on the emblem, closes it, and you don't get handprints on the hood. Why do Porsches hold their value so much? Here's some tiny little things that a lot of people don't even know about. You may know about it, but I'd like to point them out anyway. First off, we have uh, room in here to throw the kids in the back or <clears throat> in a pinch, uh, some adults, right? Also insurance is a little less because it's not a two-seater, it's a four-seater. And then if you don't need the seating, right? You fold these down, it makes a beautiful shelf for another set of luggage or what have you. These are rollover hoops. If the car was to tilt, these right here would pop up to the height of the windshield, giving you kind of the same safety as say maybe a, a coupe might do, right? Lastly, this is the front of the convertible top. When it's up here, this is hard. You can hear it's not soft. And what is that? why is that important? Well, because this is a high speed car and if it was soft, you'd get all the buffeting from the cloth roof and they solve that problem by making just the front of it hard and it also serves as a tonneau cover and engine cooling as well. All right, so come join me inside here. We'll have a seat in uh, your next car, right? So this has what's called an optional full leather interior. What does that mean? Well, that means that the console is covered, the dash is covered, the door panels are covered in leather. They're not vinyl. All of the back seats and all that area are also covered in leather, the glove box, right? Look at the stitching here that matches the outside of the paint, right? Same uh, contrasting stitching going out there. Here's a cool hidden feature, cup holders. Most people don't know that this daily driver exotic, that's why I call it that, man. It's got heated seats, it's got cup holders, it's got a great infotainment system. This also has a sport package with a sport chronometer there, uh, the Bose sound system, killer gauges, 8,000 RPM TAC, 200 mile an hour speedometer, full array in your face. Porsches always put the tack in front of your face because that's the most important. They didn't really care so much about the speedometer because they want to make sure that you stay in the power band. And if you take it to the track, that's what you would use. Uh, I don't know you'll ever go to the track or who needs to go to the track, but this is just a really, really amazing, amazing car uh, to sit in. All right, so we're gonna close up the video uh, on this amazing, amazing 911 Cabriolet, right? So we're talking about a sticker right around $100,000 new. A car driven a little over 3,000 miles a year, loaded with options, full leather interior, which is a $4,500 option, the wood wheel, which is another $1,000 option, sport exhaust, sport suspension, uh, sport chronometer package, right? All of that stuff adds up and adds up. That's why this car was so expensive. And the fact that you can either throw it in automatic mode if you want to and jump on the phone and do some business or use the paddle shifters and drive it like a manual gives you the best of both worlds. Anyway, super, super, super clean uh, 911 Cabriolet. Call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it. And uh, if you don't mind, uh, click the like button down there. That helps us get out there our message as well. And if you would share this with your friends, I'm sure they might like it too. And subscribe to the channel. We have new content coming out every single day. I will see you on the test drive. You know, some cars just sound good. This is one of those cars and you need to hear it. So let me fire it for you. So we're wheeling our Carrera Cabriolet in sport mode right now. And I'm using the paddles, which gives me the best of both worlds. I'm able to manually shift down, hear that, for the corners if I want, and then shift up. And I get that great sound of the car and the grunt. The sport mode definitely changes the whole characteristics of the car. Sport chronometer right there. And here we're rolling around the corners. And then if I have to jump on the phone or something like that, I can just throw it in drive, forget about it, and do my business, whatever I gotta do. I'm enjoying T's company and he's holding on for dear life. I'm just kidding, we're not going very fast. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying this test drive on this beautiful day like we are, and I will see you on the next one.